Namaste Dandava Pranam, by the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa, Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are here reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 3, the status quo, chapter 5, text 16. Sa Vishva Janma Stiti Samya Arte. Pritavatara Pragrita Shaktihi, Chakara Karmanyati Purushani, Yanishvara Kirtaya Tanimhayam. Kindly chant all those superhuman transcendental activities of the Supreme Controller, the Personality of Godhead, who accepted incarnations fully equipped with all potency for the all. Uh, for the full manifestation and maintenance of the cosmic creation. Purport. Vidura was undoubtedly very eager to hear about Lord Krishna in particular, but he was overwhelmed because Lord Krishna had just passed away from the visible world. He therefore wanted to hear about him in his Purusha incarnations, which he manifests with full potencies for the creation and maintenance of the cosmic world. The activities of the Purusha incarnations are but uh, an extension of the activities of the Lord. This hint was given by Vidura to Maitreya because Maitreya could not decide which part of the activities of Lord Krishna uh, should be chanted. Text 17. Sri Shuka Uvacha Sa Evam. Sa evam bhagavan, sa evam bhagavan prishta, chatra kosha rabho muni, um sham niheshraya sharte, um sham niheshre sarte na, tam aha bahu manayan. Shukadev Goswami said, the great sage Maitreya Muni, after honoring Vidura very greatly, began to speak at Vidura's request for the greatest welfare of all people. Purport. The great sage Maitreya Muni is described here as Bhagavan because he surpassed all ordinary human beings in learning and experience. Uh, thus, his selection of the greatest welfare service for the world is considered authoritative. The all-inclusive welfare service for the entire human society is devotional service to the Lord. And as requested by Vidura, the sage described the same very appropriately. Text 18. Maitreya Uvacha Sadhu Prishtam Tvaya Sadho Lokan Sadhvanu Grinata Kirtim vitan vata loke atmano doksa jatmana. Sri Maitreya said, O Vidura, all glory unto you. You have inquired for me of the greatest of all goodness, and thus you have shown your mercy both to the world and to me, because your mind is always absorbed in thoughts of the transcendence. Purport. Maitreya Muni, who was experienced in the science of transcendence, could understand that Vidura's mind was fully absorbed in transcendence. Adhoksaja means that which transcends the limits of sense perception or sensuous experience. The Lord is transcendental to our sense experience, but he reveals himself to the sincere devotee. Because Vidura was always absorbed in thought of the Lord, Maitreya could estimate Vidura's transcendental value. He appreciated the valuable inquiries of Vidura and thus thanked him with great honor. Text 19. Naitach chitram tvai kshatar padharayana vir yaje grihito nanya bhavena yatvaya harir ishvara O Vidura, it is not at all wonderful that you have uh, so accept the Lord without deviation of thought, for you were born from the semen of Yasudev. Purport. 
The value of great parentage and noble birth is evaluated here in connection with the birth of Vidura. The culture of human beings begins when the father invests his semen in the womb of the mother. According to his status of work, a living entity is placed in a particular father's semen. And because Vidura was not an ordinary living entity, he was given the chance to be born from the semen of Yasa. The birth of a human being is a great science, and therefore a reformation of the act of impregnation according to the Vedic ritual called Garbhadhana Samskara is very important for generating good population. The problem is not to check the growth of the population, but to generate good population on the level of Vidura, Vyasa, Maitreya. There is no need to check the growth of population if the children are born as human beings with all precautions regarding their birth. So-called birth control is not only vicious, but also useless. Text 20. Mandavya sapad bhagavan praja samyama no yama pratu kshetre bhujishyayam Jata Satyavati Sutat. I know that you are now Vidura due to the cursing of the Mandavaya of Mandavya Muni, due to the cursing of Mandavya Muni, and that formerly you were King Yamaraj, the great controller of living entities after their death. You were begotten by the son of Satyavati, Vyasadev, and the kept wife of his brother. Purport. Mandavya Muni was a great sage, uh, as explained in Bhagavatam 1.13.1, and Vidura was formerly the controller, Yamaraj, who takes charge of the living entities after death. Birth, maintenance, and death are three conditional states of the living entities who are within the material world. As the appointed controller after death, Yamaraj once tried Mandavya Muni for his childhood. Uh, once tried Mandavya Muni for his childhood profligacy and ordered him to be pierced with a lamp of the kept wife of uh, the Chitra Virya from the semen of the Chitra Virya's brother, Vyasadev. Vyasadev is the son of Satyavati by the great sage Parasara. And, Vich and Vichitra Virya is the son of the same Satyavati by the great king uh, Santanu, the father of Bhismadev. This mysterious history of Adura was known to Maitreya Muni because he happened to be a contemporary friend of Yasudev's. In spite of Vidura's birth from the womb of a kept wife, because he had otherwise high parentage and a great connection, he inherited the highest talent of becoming a great devotee of the Lord. To take birth in such a great family is understood to be an advantage for attaining devotional life. Vidura was given this chance due to his previous greatness. Text 21. Bhavan Bhagavato Nityam Samhatta Sanu Gasyaha Yasyagyano Padesaya Madisa Bhagavan Rajan. Your good self is one of the eternal associates of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, for whose sake the Lord, while going back to his abode, left instructions with me. Purport, Yamaraj, the great controller of life after death, decides the living entity's destinies in their next lives. He is surely among the most confidential representatives of the Lord. Such confidential posts are offered to great devotees of the Lord who are as good as his eternal associates in the spiritual sky. And because Vidura happened to be among them, the Lord, while returning to Vaikuntha, left instructions for Vidura with Maitreya Muni. 
Generally, the eternal associates of the Lord and the spiritual sky do not come to the material world. Sometimes they come, however, by the order of the Lord, not to hold any administrative post, but to associate with the Lord in person or to propagate the message of God in human society. Such empowered representatives are called Shakti Avesh avatars, or incarnations invested with transcendental power of attorney. Text 22. Atate Bhagavalila Yoga Mayor Primihita Vishvastitud Bhavantarta Varnayam Yanu Purvasha. I shall therefore describe to you the pastimes by which the personality of Godhead extends his transcendental potency for the creation, maintenance, and dissolution of the cosmic world as they occur one after another. Purport. The omnipotent Lord, by his different energies, can perform anything and everything he likes. The creation of the cosmic world is done by his yoga maya energy. Text 23. Bhagavan eka asedam agra atmatman hamdibu atme chanu gatavatma nanamatyu palakshana. The personality of Godhead, the master of all living entities, existed prior to the creation as one without a second. It is by his will only that creation is made possible, and again, everything merges in. This supreme self is symptomized by different names. Purple. The great sage here begins to explain the purpose of the four original verses of Srimad Bhagavatam. Although they have no access to the Srimad Bhagavatam, the followers of the Mayavad impersonalist school sometimes screw out an imaginary explanation of the original four verses but we must accept the actual explanation given herein by Maitreya Muni, because he, along with Uddhava, personally heard it directly from the Lord. The first line in the original four verses runs, Aham Ibasham Eva Gre. The word Aham is misinterpreted by Mayavad school into meanings which no one but the interpreter can understand. Here, Aham is explained as the supreme personality of Godhead not the individual living entities. Before the creation, there was only the personality of Godhead. There were no Purusha incarnations and certainly no living entities, nor was there the material energy by which the manifested creation is affected. The Purusha incarnations and all the different energies of the Supreme Lord were merged in him only. The personality of Godhead is described herein as the master of all other living entities. He is like the sun disk, and the living entities are like the molecules of the sun's rays. This existence of the Lord before the creation is confirmed by the Shrutis. Vasudevo Vaidam Agra Asitna Brahma Nacha Sankara Eko Vainarayana Asin Na Brahma Nesha Naha. Because everything that be is an emanation from the personality of Godhead, he always exists alone without a second. He can so exist because he is all perfect and omnipotent. Everything other than him, including his plenary expansions, the Vishnu Tattvas, is his part and parcel. Before the creation, there were no Karana Daksha or Garbo Daksha or Chiro Daksha Vishnus nor was there Brahma or Shankara, Shiva. The Vishnu plenary expansion and the living entities beginning from Brahma are separated parts and parcels. Although the spiritual existence was there with the Lord, the material existence was dormant in, uh, in him. By his will only is the material manifest manifestation done and undone. The diversity of the Vaikuntha Loka is one with the Lord, just as the diversity of soldiers is one with and the same as the king. As explained in Bhagavad Gita 9.7, the material creation takes place at intervals by the will of the Lord, and in the periods between dissolution and creation, the living entities and the material energy remain dormant in him. 
thus ends our reading for today. We'll continue from text 24 on Monday. Jayam Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Shripad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Srila Prabhupada, Jai. Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Guru De Srila Acharya De Srila Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Rupanuga Guru Harga Ki Jai. Jai Navadu Dharma, Nishranga Pali Dham, Mayapur Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai. Baladev Subhadra Jagannath Ju Ki Jai. Ganga Mai, Amuna Mai, Ki Jai. Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai. Vrindam Ki Jai. Shyam Kund Radha Kund Ki Jai. Tosi Devi, Bhakti Devi, Vinda Devi Ki Jai. Jai Harinam Sankirtan Yagya Ki Jai. Jai Scientific Sankirtan Yagya Ki Jai. Jai Shuman Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Jai Princeton Bhakti Vedanta Institute Jai. Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Institute Ki Jai. Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai. Our glories to the assembled devotees, our glories to the worldwide devotees, Sama Bhakti Veda Vrinda Ki Jai. Jai Shumati Uma Devi Das Ki Jai. Jai Gaur Premanandi Hari 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 Bo. Hari Hari Bo. Sri Krishna Kesha Prabhu Ki Jai. Jai Gurudev. Dhanda Bapranam Hare Krishna. Dhanda Dhanda. Hare Krishna.